So yesterday I was showing you how to coddle an egg and I was surprised at all of the comments and the personal messages that I got concerning the egg coddler and how many of you hadn't seen one before. So I thought, well, I'd show them again. Um, this is one of the small ones. And this one, the double size. And these were made in Worcester, in England, at a place called Worcester Works. And my maternal grandfather, who was born in 1885, in Bromsgrove, I believe, in England, outside of Birmingham, uh, worked at Worcester Works as a painter. I told you about this many years ago, I think, but those of you who are new with me may be interested in knowing. Or maybe you'd forgotten because, you know, it's not life-shattering information that you're going to keep retained in your head about me or my family. So I'll just tell you again. But my grandfather worked there in his early years. Uh, probably, well, if he was born in 1885, I don't know, I would bet he would have been in his late teens when he worked at Worcester Works. And he would do some of, he didn't do these, of course, but he would do the hand painting of the porcelain that they make in Worcester. Um, he was an artist. He studied to be an architect, and um, uh, I thought it was interesting. Uh, well, it always fascinated me that he did painting of porcelain in Worcester, Royal Worcester, in England. Um, so that, of course, drew me to the porcelain coddlers, and I've had these three uh, for years. Um, in fact, I think the large one um, my aunt gave to me from the things that my grandparents had. I'm not saying that this is an antique by any means, nor is it an old piece from the 1800s in Worcester, but it's kind of nice to have. And I thought it was also interesting when I was researching egg coddlers that it is likely that the Worcester Works invented the coddler in and around 1890. So it's entirely possible that my grandfather did paint some coddlers. Who knows? It's impossible for me to ask him. He died in 1970. Um, and f not further to that, but just uh, so that I can show you what I've been doing, here are three more um, dishcloths that I've completed. This one has a pattern to it. And I think, I don't know if I showed you this one or not. I'm working on this one again in a deep royal purple. I'm going to make a fitness video in response to Cool Dyke Dad, Dad Asian, Jason. Um, maybe tomorrow. I was going to make it private, but I thought, eh, what the hell, let's uh, let it all hang out. And I'll tell you tomorrow what I did today, this morning. So for now, that's it, that's all.